Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2015 Ford Expedition EL Platinum. This is a fully loaded extended wheelbase Expedition and this is a updated 2015 model with the newer EcoBoost engine and a little bit more of an upgraded interior. As you can see outside, this one is finished off in a black exterior which looks great on the vehicle. You do have some chrome accenting on your mirrors as well as your belt line. This one also does have tinted windows all the way around and you have your rain visors over the rear windows. Up top, this one does have your roof rail, crossbars, as well as your sunroof right there. You can see your chrome door handles as well as your platinum badges down below. This one being a platinum, of course, it does have the power running boards down below. Fuel cap is on the driver's side, it does have Ford's Easy Fuel system. And around the rear you have your Platinum and EcoBoost as well as EL badges. This is a four-wheel drive model too. Down below your single exhaust as well as your trailer hitch. You can see right here, come up and press. Make sure it's unlocked. Press right here and you can release the glass. As well as this one is equipped with a power trunk, just press twice. And that will open it. On the passenger side, everything follows through with your tinted windows, rain visors, as well as down below. This one is riding on Nexon Rodian tires, and these are brand new tires all the way around that our shop did put on it. They are 275, 55R20s, so 20 inch alloy wheels. They do have kind of a polished look to them. Rear disc brakes, of course. This truck is just in fantastic shape, and it looks so good. As I said up front, brand new tires as you can see and this one does have projector headlights your LED daytime running lights chrome accenting up front and tow hooks on the grill on the key you have your remote start lock unlock trunk release and panic make sure it's locked press twice it will remote start it and you can hear just how quiet the new EcoBoost engine is coming up to the door you do have keyless entry but this one also is equipped with your keyless entry pad, typical of a lot of Fords. As I said, power running boards on both sides. Platinum door sills, and this one does have all weather, uh, weather tech floor mats installed. Black leather interior with your platinum badging on the seats. I mean, inside and out, this is just such a beautiful truck. Start it, put on the brake, and press right here. You can see this uh, seat will power slide up as well as the steering wheel will power tilt to its memory position. Just have the key inside and you're good to go. Inside you do have a leather wrap steering wheel, your cruise control, audio system controls on the wheel, chrome accenting and your painted trim. Nice and light power steering. On the door itself, rubberized up top, you do have your padded leather. The platinum gives you this very nice contrast strip on it. Stitching around here and then your wood grain. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. The mirrors as well are power folding. Just kick it back. Just like that, they will fold in and out. This one also is equipped with blind spot monitoring built into the mirrors. Headlight controls over here, they are automatic, as well as your fog lights. You do have your air vents up top built into the dash. And they're your nice typical Ford where you can close them like that as well as adjust them. Dashboard, stitched leather above the gauge hood and the rest of the dash is a rubberized material. You have the center channel for the Sony audio system this is equipped with. Now, as I said, this is the more updated interior so you have the nicer, newer gauge cluster. You can bring up your navigation, radio, different things like that. Digital tachometer on this side. So it's your fuel gauge and then speedometer. And you can see it really is a nice gauge cluster. It updates this interior well. Then in the middle around your, or inside of your wood grain surround, this one does have the My4 touch system. Different controls over here, hill descent control, traction control, your uh, trailer brake, as well as four-wheel drive controls, start-stop button as I showed. Your audio system controls in the middle, um, all of your dual zone, automatic climate control below that. This one does have heated as well as cooled seats for the driver and passenger. On the display, you have phone, navigation, which this one of course is equipped with. 
your radio. This one, as I said, has the Sony audio system. AM, FM, satellite radio, CD, auxiliary in, everything you'd expect, and it sounds great. <laughs> Below that, as I said, dual zone automatic climate control, and you can bring that up on the display as well. Heated and cooled seats for the driver and passenger. Storage below all of that, more wood grain around here, and then this one does have the six-speed automatic low gear, and then you do have your manual mode as well. Reverse, your backup camera. Two cup holders right here, and it does have your ambient lighting around it. This one does have the My Color system, so you can control the ambient lighting on there. I believe there's some on the doors, around the door handles, on the floor, and in the back seat. You have these right here, which for when you run a cable out of here, a phone charger, or something like that, will keep it out of the way. In the middle, padded leather armrest in the Platinum, two more cup holders. And inside, this one has a very cool feature I have never seen before. This one does have a safe inside of the center console, which right now it's zeroed out. So just set every single one at zero. In turn, you can open it. Do have your USB SD card and a uh, power outlet in there. Two USB ports, and since it is locked inside of here, this plugs into the USB port and puts it right there. But very cool. Um, you can actually reset the code if you need to by calling the number on here, giving them the information. And you can reset it. But like I said, it is all set at zeros at the moment. And this can be removed too if you want to. Very cool. Um, up here, you have storage and everything else. Up top, sunroof, garage home link built into the mirror, as well as your sunroof controls, interior lighting, auto dimming review mirror, and sunglasses container. I mean, this interior is just an amazing place to be. I think it goes without saying, but these seats are amazingly comfortable. Padded, high quality leather. They look and feel great. And you have the gray accenting on the seats. We'll step out, unlock everything. This is the power running board once again. Pop the hood. And the headlights are on as well. inside of the rear seat on this Expedition. Everything follows through on the door, padded leather, wood grain. To access the third row, you can lift up right here. Seat pops up. And you can see, I'm 6'2", and I can still comfortably sit back here. I mean, this is probably one of the nice parts about the EL model. And it's the same very nice leather as up front. You have cup holders on the sides, storage. Same goes for this side with storage. Air vents built into the ceiling up top, as well as hooks and different things on the side. And stepping out, it's very easy. Can also fold the headrests down for visibility or to make it easier to fold the seat. Platinum badges follow through. And of course back here, once again, it's very comfortable. I'm 6'2". And you can see, too, it's the same nice leather, but I'm 6'2", I can sit behind myself, as you'd expect. You can see some of the mood lighting on the floor. You have heated rear seats, as well as all of your rear climate controls back here. You can choose between cool and hot air. Bring up different things on the display. You can listen to radio and everything else. Pulls a power outlet, and then a AC outlet. And you do have back seat pockets on each side. Inside of the trunk to power release, just press right there. As I showed, you can press the button inside of here and it will release the glass. Inside of the trunk, this is your uh, space with the third row folded up, which you can see is still fantastic. You have your shelf divider right here. Pull that out and click it in. You have a divider to keep things in place and also storage below there. Storage underneath of here which does include your uh, jack and everything else, your fuel, your filler neck for the easy fuel system if you ever need to use a gas can or something like that. As well as your power seat controls over here, just press, and it will fold them.
And you can see with the third row down, the amazing amount of cargo space you get in here. And then the second row also does fold into a cargo mode. I can actually show you from right here. Just drop that down. So you can see with the second row folded down, absolutely amazing amount of space. Subwoofer for the Sony audio, power trunk closes right there and different access panels. You can bring the third row back up from right here. You do have to press and hold the entire time. And then of course the trunk, as I said, just press Back seat from this side, everything follows through. You can fold it back up. And up front, this one of course does have a power passenger seat in the Platinum. Your WeatherTech floor mats follow through. You can see the ambient lighting around the cup holders. Wood grain on the door. And inside of here, this one does include all of the original owner's literature and everything, state inspection certificate. Looks like even your original screen cleaning cloth and the uh, sink navigation disc. And up front, projector headlights, as well as under the hood. This one does have Ford's 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. So this is a twin turbo V6 that replaces the old eight cylinder in these, but plenty of power, great reliability, and excellent fuel economy compared to the old engine. And it is so quiet and smooth. Let's see, this one also does have an interstate battery in it. Everything is just in great shape on this vehicle. side window back up. Put the vehicle off right here. Move the key. You can see the seat will move back and the steering wheel will move out of the way. Headlights back into automatic mode. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.